In this video, we will see about shackle plate. Now let's discuss about the shackle plate where it is. Now in this diagram, this is the shackle plate we have. So this is the shackle plate we have. Now, as you can see, there are two shackle plates in the system. Number one is this, number two is this. And on this shackle plate, there are various elements are attached. Number one, this is the axle, first axle. Then after that, here we have a cross piece. And on axle, we have two movable pulleys. And on this cross piece, we have hook, which is the actual part that is going to be lifted. Now the thing is, as you can see, the whole load, it comes on these two shackle plates only. So that is why the shackle plates are the supporter for all this snatch block assembly. So here, the shackle plate should have good strength so that they can withstand through this load, which is up to 100 kN or more than that also in terms of tons and again they should not be too much heavy so that the load in, load is going to be added in the actual one that is why while getting the dimensions the shackle plates are much thin one and those are having good mechanical properties regarding strength now the shackle plate it generally looks like this this is just one of the type of shackle plate now here reducing its mass so one of the method is that if you check it the diameter of upper part and the diameter of lower part both are different one here we have higher diameter here we have lesser diameter so this is just to reduce the mass of it and if you check for thickness it is much smaller one which is up to 16 mm generally so that we will see in detail while solving the numerical but for this video it is just enough for this that how we can understand about the shackle plate. Thank you very much.